Yo, man, first of all, I want to say I blame all of you because y'all support this show and y'all watch this show five days a week. That's why it's still on. It's syndicated in like 100 markets. It's on BET. I blame you guys because y'all are still watching this nonsense. This clown, Charlemagne, after everything that he's been through lately, like I said, lately he's been trying to play uh, both sides of the fence. He was, it seemed, very connected with the Democrats. I still think he is. Like I said, you had Stephen Colbert producing a TV show for him for the last two years. They changed it up, gave it like five different title names. They tried to stretch it. But uh, now lately, it, even if you watch that last interview he did with the last few conservatives that have come on The Breakfast Club, which they've never had prior to this year, Charlemagne is trying to play more of an objective role now. Now, is he waking up and smelling the roses? I doubt it. But he's just putting his foot in his mouth and being hypocritical and just being the joke that he is. Now, <laughs> I'm going to show this clip right here. This is Joe Biden. Now, you know, it's the 50th anniversary of hip hop. So they've been bringing out some of the same old rappers. They've brought out Slick Rick a hundred times this year. LL Cool J has been doing Rock the Bells. Uh, it's been a lot of old school artists really in the, in the, in the, in the loop lately. And, um, I guess this is what took it. It took the 50th anniversary of hip hop to really spark some anger. So Charlemagne to finally call out Joey Biden. But this is Joe Biden and uh, what he said about LL Cool J. The two of the great artists of our time representing the groundbreaking legacy of hip hop in America, LLJ Cool J. Uh, by the way, that boy's got, he got man's got biceps bigger than my thighs. I think he's been. And MC Light, both of you, thank you. All right, now, so that was Joe Biden. Um, he, he tried to correct himself. LL Cool J is a grown ass man. We do know that. Um, Look, you know, I don't need a history lesson. I know the the, the meaning behind the word boy and, and the Jim Crow South and the history of all that. I get that. But the fact that that's what took y'all and Charlemagne is trying to, you know, spark real anger about this. I'm like, that's what made you angry? That's what made you angry? Not when he was on your show two years ago and told you that you're not black if you don't vote for me. He questions your blackness as a man <laughs> on your show. Hey, man, play the Larry Elder clip, because this is what I was talking about. And Larry Elder caught this up, and he also put him out on Twitter. If you read this tweet right here, you know, this is like, you got the nerve. Now, three years later, this, it took the 50th anniversary of hip hop and one of your favorite rap artists being disrespected or slighted. Rather, it was intentional. It could have just been a slip up. Maybe Joe Biden does refer to black guys as boys. Hey, we know his history. We know how Jim Crow get down. Y'all still voted for him. And this guy was the one pushing y'all to vote for him. They had every Democrat candidate you could think of up there. Stacey Abrams, AOC, everybody was up there. Now he's backtracking and he gives, uh, he, he's giving um, Joe Biden donkey of the day. Should have gave himself donkey of the day three years ago. And, and I'm at the gym and I see it flash across on Fox News and of course they went in on them and the first thing they they rolled back was the receipts like no you cannot make up the fact that you let this old white man come on your show and clown you and tell you about your blackness and now 3 years later you want to try to it it took a him clowning a rapper for you to get mad and spark anger hey look i get it anger is emotion that's subjective it might make you angry might not make the next person angry but come on bro like this is if this isn't you know damage control or whatever, and then got mad at Larry Elder for calling him out in this clip. Probably gotta go. Up. <coughs> Have you ever heard of the term a "nigga wake up call"? No. It is an incident where a person of color forgets that they are of color and are reminded rather brutally by an unexpected act of racism. Oh, Have you brother. ever had any of oh, those? Brother. I'm just asking. I'm just. I'm just you think you've ever well, I'm, I'm acutely aware, Charlemagne, that I'm a black person, just as you are a black person. And when uh, Joe Biden insulted you by saying, mm -hmm. you ain't really black, you don't know whether or not you want to vote for me or vote for Donald Trump, uh, it seems to me that should have been a wake-up call on your part. How dare this guy come in here and insult you, a black man, and tell you you got to think a certain kind of way? I'm amazed that you weren't mad about that. Um, I didn't, I'm not going to say that it upset me, just like I'm not letting you upset me. You know what I mean? I don't tend to get upset over things like well, that. Well, what I did say well, well you just not talk about a nigga wake-up call, and it seemed to me that that should have been a wake-up call on your part. to have a white guy come in here who also said, by the way, uh... He calls him out, of course, he got mad, and then a week later, he gave him donkey of the day because he didn't, he came up short on his goal with the, the RNC ballot. 
You know, so that's the type of petty games Leonard is playing. But yes, the lesser charge. And I, like I say, I blame people because y'all listen to this show and y'all are the reason why it's still around. You're listening to a guy with a rape charge on him, a lesser rape charge, and another guy who's a scam artist who's probably about to get exposed and be in jail soon. And y'all are listening to these people on a five-day service. No, I'm not hating. Oh, you hating because they get money? No, it's not. I'm not one of those people who just, you know, if I don't like something, I got to hate on it. No, it's called being objective. It's an opinion. But this is who y'all choose to support. This guy is, 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 is no, man. Get out of here. That, that all the stuff. Like I said, Joe Biden clowns you. And I, I hope he comes back on this show again and brings it up. Bring it up again. You know what I mean? Joe Biden owns your soul. And I don't care how many donkey of the days you get. Mike said, you should give yourself donkey of the day for letting that white man come up there and play you like that. I don't care what he said to LL. That does not make up for the fact that he clowned you and called you out on your own culture. And you had no nothing to say. Then he says, oh, I didn't know I was supposed to be offended by that. No, man, don't act like you're dumb. You, you got, you, you're very successful. You're, maybe he really is a brilliant idiot. You know, but to play dumb like he does, nobody plays dumb more than he does. And y'all always let him get away with it. Always. It's a whole interview with a girl that he raped, you know, 20 years ago out here. She's still out here going through trauma. And this is what y'all listen to every day. Leonard, the lesser charge. What's his last name? <laughs> Brown or whatever, whatever. You know, like, I, I'm sick of this, man. This guy is, is, a, is, a, is a joke. And y'all constantly keep putting him out here. No, you cannot rebound from this. Uh, and now and, and he's even sparking anger amongst other people. But I'm like, it, it, Joe Biden has done a lot of, uh, he's had a lot of fireball offenses, in my opinion. This is nothing compared to the stuff you should be mad about that he's applied the last three years or the things that he said. This is nothing. You know, and all due respect to LL. But I mean, is LL even upset about this? Has he mentioned it? Has he spoke on it? Or is he too busy getting that Rock the Bells money and them CBS checks for doing that, uh, what's that show he does? Sled, whatever they call it, SWAT. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think LL's really bothered by it. So, But yeah, Charlamagne's trying to use this to try to get grounding points because he knows that Breakfast Club interview, these interviews that they've been doing with these conservatives this past summer has really exposed them for the, the, the Democrat liberal plants that they are. And they're starting to see. They looked at those comments. They seen those dislikes. They seen how many people was turning on them. So now you're trying to do whatever you can to save face, but it ain't going to work. Not on my watch. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hit the like button. Fight the algorithm. I'm out.